Hello and welcome back to Super Metroid Phase On. In this video, hopefully we are going to get somewhere close to something important. Which may or may not happen, depending on whether the item's been moved or the way to get to places has been changed. So up here... I am still trying to figure this stuff out myself. Remember my way around still. Okay, I can get that. It's like one of the few phase on blocks I've seen. Actually, that might be the only phase on block I've seen. Oh, what's this? No, oh, power bomb. Okay. Not getting that yet. And those are spooks, so I can't bother with them. Well, actually, I could, but I don't feel like it. And hooray for space pirates. As security camera faces. This is actually probably the best music from Super Metroid, this Meridian music. It's probably my favorite. Okay, so... here... down there. And that's actually down this way, I believe. And I can't pause to check, okay. That's nice. But I think it was on the bottom floor. Yep. Okay, so once we get down here. Once we get down here, we found the gravel door. It should lead us to some new places. And there's the gravel door, so we can this off right where we need it to be. Okay, now. I believe all the other doors in this area are power bomb doors. So, no need to check back on them. And, there's another problem. How oh, nice. Now, this would be the heat run I was referring to probably a long time ago in many of the earlier vids. Um, if you didn't collect Red Phase on before you fought um, whatever Fantoon was supposed to be, you have to do a heat run through this area, which is. Not fun. But since I have a phase on, I don't worry about that, and uh, let me explore this area just to see what else has changed, what else is new, collect items like the one down there, stuff like that. And 
just to save him. That looks suspicious. I'm always very suspicious of save rooms. That, I mean, they have the obvious safe station right there. And so when you go into one, you're like, oh, it's a safe room, let's save, and then... Or not save, and let's just get out of here. Ooh, bunch of birds. But, um... Because of that fact, the player just thinks of them as save rooms. They make the perfect place to hide something. I'm very paranoid about missing something simple like that. Especially after Super Zero Mission. I didn't notice anything in most of the save rooms. But I watched a TAS of you. Um, both just to any percent. Oh, another Phantom Particle. Now that one you can actually tell there's something there because the top looks way different. But I'd watched an any percent run of Super Zero Mission and a 100% TAS of it. And that's. There were so many hidden paths in save rooms that I did not find. Because I didn't think anything was there. And so now I'm very paranoid about save rooms. I didn't even see that cactus there. useless enemies when it comes down to it, because their AI is not very smart. But, I mean, great door. I might have to kill all these enemies. I mean, but, for a useless enemy, they're not really fun enemies either. They're just kind of there, just like obstacles. I mean, shouldn't be that hard. Or at least take that long. So, I saw a floaty warp thing coming around. Other than that, I think the enemies have been done pretty well in this map. It's just some small base pirates take a little too much. down at the bottom. Okay, well, spend another half hour on these pirates. the door. Oh, this is back to Okay. And that is a huge room. It is really big. I don't like building big rooms, to be honest. And I'm still not enough. I find it that I'm more geared toward making a small, cramped area. It's more cramped level design. It's kind of more how I do things. So big rooms that have a lot of open spaces are not exactly my forte. So, we'll find out what's through here. The 
massive explosions of the little enemies. I actually kind of like that. Although it would probably make more sense if the explosions actually hurt you. If something's that big that you kind of ignite so it explodes like that. And what do we have here? More ships locked in well this one's green lights. And it's floating. And I can't get up there. Those little square patches are just because the spores in the background or leaves, whatever they are. So what is what is with this? There's a spot right there. Elevator to inside the ship. That is most interesting. It's not the first time I've seen the idea done. It's still pretty cool. 